Hello and welcome to the Cisco Tech demonstration. My name is Karima and in this video, I will guide you through the process of installing a certificate on CMX using the building open SSO. When provisioning CMX in Cisco DNA Center, issues often occur related to the SAN field in certificates. Users must manually install a certificate with the SAN field by creating or configuring a file. Additionally, for users without CA to sign the certificate, this video will demonstrate how to sign the certificate using only OpenSSL. Please note, for this process, you will be required CMX Stack Engineer as root can be accessed only by tech. Log into CMX using root, username and password. First, ensure the root is enabled. Navigate to home CMX admin directory and create a file named openssl.cnf with the following information. Make sure key usage details are updated and under alternate underscore names, provide CMX FQDN, CMX IP address and DNF IP address. As we can see, we have given the IP address of CMX and DNAC and add the country details, state details, etc. as per your need. Generate the CSR and private key using openssl.cnf file. Please type commands shown on screen. Now generate CA private key using the command on screen. This command will generate 4096-bit RSA private key and saves it in the C underscore private dot key file. Now create the CA certificate and sign it using CA private key which we generated above and follow the on-screen instruction. This command will create a self-signed certificate that is valid for 365 days. Now sign the server CSR using the CA certificate and CA private key. If we do not have any valid external CA, now we can verify the cert and please make sure the defined values are present. Now convert the certificate CRT in PAM. Combine server device cert and private key. Clear already installed default CMX certificates and install the newly generated CA and the device certificates. Once done, please verify the services status on CMX using CMX CTL status command. After verification, we can proceed with provisioning the CMX on DNAC and should no longer encounter errors related to the sand field. Finally, verify the CMX server status after provisioning on DNAC. If we encounter any error related to the certificate expiration, please clear out the browser cache or please close the existing DNAN GUI and open another one. If you run into any issue, please do not hesitate to reach out to the tag. We will be glad to assist you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.